flavors, which originated in the 1890s from the Spanish cuisine. Other cultures did have their own takes on them, such as Hungary, Mexico, and India. But today we're doing southwestern peppers, which come from. And our ingredients here is our bell peppers, which I did stick in the microwave for four minutes with some water in it just to start getting them a little soft. And I cut all the tops off and took the seeds out. We have our garlic, brown rice, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, black beans, corn, and more tomatoes, but diced for flavor. Now all of this can be bought at any grocery store, wherever you like to buy your groceries. And the prep time for this was about 25 minutes, just taking the time to cut up everything, taking the tops off these peppers, and we do have some ground turkey um, cooking over here. Now what we're gonna do is once your ground turkey is a little bit cooked, mostly cooked actually, we are going to put our, and we actually wanna put a little bit of oil because I'm gonna be throwing the vegetables in with it. So I'm gonna put some olive oil. And the first thing we're gonna throw in is our onions which are high antioxidants, which have been shown to help lower cholesterol. So we're gonna toss these in here. Give everything a good stir. And next we will get our garlic, which is really good for immunity and good for inflammation. It's anti-inflammatory. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that in there. Now, I love garlic, so I put about five cloves, which is a lot, but you can do like two or three. But if you like garlic like me, then you can put a lot in there too. Next up, we are going to do our cilantro, which is high in fiber and vitamin A. We're gonna go ahead, put that in there. Gonna give everything a good stir here. Next is our tomatoes, which has potassium, vitamin K, vitamin C. They've also been sh shown to help with cancer and the risk of cancer. So we're gonna go ahead and stick those in there. Now every time we put something in here, we wanna give it a good stir so that all the flavors can mix in together. We have our brown rice, which is a whole grain. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I'm gonna give everything a good stir again. Next, we got our black beans and corn, which both have protein and fiber. We're gonna go ahead and, I normally do about half a can. I did drain the liquid out of these cans before I'm dumping them in here. I'm doing about half a can each. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good stir again. And next we've got our diced tomatoes, which has the same benefits as tomatoes, but more flavor in there, makes it nice and saucy. I'm going to give everything a good stir. Okay, so after everything is cooked, I went ahead and stuffed our peppers. I did add some cheese on the top. It could be any cheese that you want. I used a Mexican blend. Um, I don't feel like there's that many health benefits to cheese, but it does have good protein. So we're gonna go ahead, our oven is preheated to 350, and we are going to stick it in, and we'll see when it comes out. are done they look amazing it took a total cooking time of about 35 minutes 20 minutes in the oven and 15 minutes on the stove uh, this was a really easy meal to make most of the time was just waiting for it to uh, all cook together and you even have leftover stuffing which you can use for meal prepping or just having 
leftover dinner the next night. So that's our stuffed peppers. <laughs>